right now. It's not to say it's not noble, but it's not what we need right now here on Earth. We need to heal Mother Earth first. And so we're actually calling out because we're reaching our hand out to you in a gesture of peace and aloha and asking you to join forces with us to do right by Mother Earth. The telescope can be built. There's 93 world-class astronomy places to do astronomy already. And what we're asking for is some balance here. Balance in in the interest of the people of the world and of Mother Earth. So, I have the task of reading to Dr. Henry T. Yang. You are the chairman of the board of directors of the TMT. It is your job to provide leadership to your fellows and fully inform them of the seriousness of the situation here in Hawaii. Dr. Yang, you know full well that you are being led by the state of Hawaii. They say that it is not a small number of radicals. They say it is only a small number of radicals opposing the TNT. This is not true, and you know this. There are thousands and thousands of us, and we will never give in. This is our place, and we must protect Mother Earth. The state says that the TNT can be, can be built. It can be built because it, it can control us. This is not true also. The TMT will never be built. Um, we will fight the TMT in every process, in every court, on every land, in every office, on every campus, with every TMT partner, and we will never be defeated because our power comes from our great love for both the future and the past, and our power comes ultimately from the Mauna and the Akua and the Heavens. You are also the Chancellor of the University of California at Santa Barbara. Your university sits upon Chumash land and an ancient sacred site. The Chumash are our relatives and they stand with us. They say and we say that you need to respect the indigenous people and end colonial exploitation and destruction of our lands once and for all. Dr. Yang, it is time to show real leadership here in making science right. You have the power to avert human rights and uh, human rights crisis and a fiscal disaster, but only if you stop the TNT from destroying Mama Hill. You have that power and we're calling out to you to use it. Personal power only matters if you make it count and if you use it. Nathan 
awestruck. You are the chief financial officer of the University of California and the treasurer of PMT. You need to advise your board to divest from this destruction immediately. Take care of your people. We have been to the Board of Regents meeting and we see the throngs of union workers who need this money that you have, uh, you have spent fighting us. If you continue down this path, you will spend much more money fighting us. And the telescope will still never see a single star. This is an irresponsible investment and one you should not make. Your office sits on the Shan Ohlone lands and the Lijan have stood with us in opposition to the TMT. Respect the indigenous peoples of California and Hawaii and focus on your real investment, which should be your students and those who support them. Dr. Michael Bolte of US, UC Santa Cruz and Associate Director of TMT. We have a lot of aloha for you. We want you to be well. We know, and you know, and the conscious people of Santa Cruz know that the building of TMT on Mauna Kea is not Pono. Be Pono, Dr. Bolte, and be well. Dr. Claire Ellen Max, you have done great work as a scientist and an educator. You have done good work with carbon offset programs. You should know that respect for the indigenous people of each part of this earth is crucial to its healing. Stop TMT now. Dr. Lori Lubin of UC Davis. Your work is so admirable as a scholar, an animal rescue advocate, and a person of conscience. Dr. Edward Stahl, as the executive director of TIO, you have the power to change the path of science. Let that be your legacy. Along with Voyager, I not disrupt of unique and sacred landscapes. Create a new paradigm as your students have requested and you have spoken to them personally, one in which science harmonizes with the earth and the indigenous cultures that have treated it with care for thousands of years. This is what your brilliant young scientists want to be a part of not destruction of sacred mountains and cultural practices. By the way, you did a good job of the cultural treatment. Dr. Thomas S. Rockefeller. As the president of Caltech, you also have the power to end this human rights crisis. The name of your institution is on the line here. Do the right thing. Dr. Diana Jerkovich, we ask that you extend that collaborative approach you employ at Caltech to this situation. Your school is about to, res to be responsible for the brutal removal of indigenous elders, dedicated healers, caretakers of sacred places. Let's work collaboratively on a new direction, away from all of that, and towards a real learning, peace and healing. Dr. E.T. Sofer, as a director of the Spencer Science Center and TIO Board Representative for the Science Advisory you have the power to do the right thing. Uphold the nobility of science. Do not destroy our indigenous science by destroying our youth. We should know that. Dr. Jonas D, we know that you understand this. Stop TMT. Dr. Judith Cohen, you are an amazing, groundbreaking woman who has earned a place in the halls of astronomy. You helped save Palomar, which along with other useful telescopes might be done in by this 18-story monster. Please stand again. Dr. Chris Martin, do the right thing. 
Dr. Chuck Stadel, with all of your medals and awards, Dr. Stadel, we know you're brilliant. Brilliant enough to be able to plot a course for science in which harmony with indigenous wisdom and culture is more than a rubber stamp. Dr. Masaki Akiyama, your work studied the evolution of galaxies and stars. Now we ask that you focus on the evolution of science. Make it force for peace and healing of Earth, not socialism. Dr. Mitsuhiko Honda, your astrobiology studies are admirable. Now that you know more about how to survive in space, Let's focus on how we will survive on our struggling Earth, please. Dr. Norio Narita, we have, you have done great work with understanding of planets. Now how about this one? Dr. Masaomi Tanaka, with all your awards as a brilliant young scientist, we call on you to, to make a new direction for science that does not abuse human rights and the environment and creates a better future for young scientists who will come after you. All of you are leaders in your field, and you have a responsibility for the destruction and human rights abuses that you are about to cause in our land. We ask you to stop this direction immediately. We ask that your university stop this immediately. We call on your peers and your students to remind you of this responsibility. The nations of Hawaii and Japan were once allies and held each other in great regard. Our memory is long and re we remember and honor this connection. Do you, have you forgotten your commitment to us or will you stand with us and create a better future of peace, environmental protection and aloha for all of humanity? As a professor at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, I call on Indian scientists to stop participating in the 30 meter telescope project. Um, I call on them to respect the indigenous people of Hawaii and to stand with the protectors of Mauna Wakea. Dr. Praveer Astana, who is the head scientist of Inspire Mega Science Program, uh, Dr. Rama Prakash, who is the assistant associate program director of the TMT coordination sector, Dr. P. Ishwar Reddy, who is the program director of uh, SAC, Dr. Jeevan Pandey, who is at the Aryabhata Research Institute of Observational Sciences, Dr. Srinath uh, Raghunath, who's at the Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, and Associate Professor Shivarani Dhrupati at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. I call on you to stand with the indigenous people of Hawaii and to show aloha to the lands that they protect. Monsieur Donald Brooks, Monsieur Greg Farland, Madame Kim Venn, Monsieur Roberto Abraham. S'il vous plaît, il faut se unir, il faut se unir avec les gens autochtones de Hawaii et de tout euh, le globe pour euh, supporter la cause, une cause importante à la cœur de tous les, les Canadiens, soit qu'ils sont immigrants ou non immigrants, c'est nécessaire d'appuyer les gens qui se sont battus depuis très très longtemps à une terre qui leur appartienne. Dr. Timothy 
Davidich, Dr. Stanimir, Metchev. Encore une fois, s'il vous plaît, euh, donnez-vous votre cœur et appuyez la cause autochtone, hawaïenne et tous ceux qui sont ici depuis très très longtemps. Il faut s'unir, il faut se battre, il faut maintenir la conversation, d'appuyer de, 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 ces gens et surtout d'appuyer euh, leur, euh, leur bien-être. Cette terre leur appartient. Ils sont là pour, pour être fidèles à leur famille, à leur histoire. Et nous, il faut être fidèles comme Canadiens avec eux, les appuyer. Alors, s'il vous plaît, please support this moment, this cause, and honor these people, please. Being Canadian, I urge you to do so. Grazie mille, io parlo anche italiano. Allora, per favore come eh, immigrante del, del Canada dobbiamo essere eh, informato dobbiamo essere onesto di capire un po' questa gente dove, di dove viene e, e di fare un, un passo verso il futuro e il futuro che loro appartengono a questa terra è una terra grandiosa e dobbiamo sempre rispettare la loro, euh, la loro esistenza, per favore, grazie. Ciao. Aloha uh, to uh, the members of Aura, uh, Mark Dickinson, Kathleen Pilachowski, uh, Ian Del Antonio at Brown University and our own uh, David Lassner, President and Chancellor of the UH System, uh, and Len Cowie, the UH Institute for Astronomy, uh, and Karen Meach, also at the UH Institute for Astronomy. Uh, I'm speaking as a, a guest on stolen land uh, in what is called the state of Hawaii. Uh, and uh, I want to just speak for a moment about uh, looking down to the earth as well as look at, looking up to the skies and uh, ask you uh, to consider the rights and what people have to say of Hawaiians of the Kanaka Maui. And if you're not familiar with the Hawaiian struggle, you can look at your own lands uh, at uh, Brown University and all the other universities here uh, because uh, they're all based on this idea that science knows best, that whatever uh, science says is the best and that there is no real need to li listen to other people. Uh, and I'm going to just say something, not directly to you, but to the people from various tech blogs, Ars Technica and uh, Slashdot, uh, in the commentary, you know, you may speak, oh, give lip service to the idea of indigenous people's protection of their own land. Uh, but on these sites, there's uh, an incredible reign of empowered ignorance where people are calling out indigenous Hawaiians protecting their land as primitives, as savages, and using the same language of colonialism that was used in the 1800s to take away the land in the first place. So this is powerful stuff that you're dealing with and you need to uh, correct the ignorance of both the people that look up to you and also look down to the earth as well as up to the heavens and see what's going on here. Thank you.